Hi there, John Wall here, Digital Participation Curator at Quad. Um, today I'm bringing you a quick how-to with Stop Motion Studio. It's the free version of Stop Motion Studio, which you can download via the App Store, via Play Store, via the Windows Store. Um, and it's just a kind of insight, quick insight into what we use at Quad for our workshops and um, projects. So this is Stop Motion Studio. This is going to be a quick kind of how-to, and we're going to make a GIF. And the GIF that you make can be with absolutely anything that I've just using some colorful objects today um, just to give you an idea of what you can do really easily and really quickly um, if I'm, I'm currently kind of propping my phone up on my laptop uh, but you may be uh, you may want to use other things like cardboard like books like chairs whatever works for you and your device uh, by all means do that have fun with it that's the most important thing I hope you're all well and uh, keeping safe um, but let's have some fun and let's do some creativity so when you open stop motion studio you get this screen here you've got a big fish example of an animation that you can create and I've got one that I kind of prepped earlier but uh, the first thing I want you to do is just click new movie and what you'll do is you'll get a little prompt screen it says tap here to add some pictures and that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to tap here and you can see that I've got this setup of this kind of grid formation uh, with nine objects. Uh, again, you can try this out. You can use other colors. You can do whatever you want. This is just an example of something you can do really quickly and really easily. So what I'm going to do is up here on the right hand side, there's the uh, there's the uh, red uh, what record button, but effectively it's taking a picture. So I'm going to take my first picture. There we go. And that's it. Now, not much may have happened there on your screen, like you can see on my screen here, but we're going to keep taking pictures and then look to see what changes around, okay? So, I'm going to now do some swapping out of colours. So, again, you can do whatever you want with this. I'm just going to start swapping out colours one by one. Um, I've found a few colours around the house. Thankfully, I have a three-year-old daughter with lots of colourful toys. And there you go, I've taken another picture. So I'm just going to keep playing about with this um, and swapping in colours, swapping out things. Um, got lots of things here, so it's tough to make a decision over what I would like to use. There we go, blue. Again, just take another picture. Swap out another item, green. There we go. Another picture. You can see that I'm pressing that button on the right hand side to take that picture. Uh, let's go with green at the bottom here as well. Some lovely, lovely veg. Okay, I'm going to go uh, here with red. Uh, let's put a crayon in there. So if you have little ones, this is a really good exercise to put together because it means they have to go out and explore and find things to, um, to work with here. So I've done my red, I've done my green. I'm going to go with the blue next. So let's use this lovely blue man. Okay, so it gives them another activity. It gives them something fun to go and do and find out. Take my picture. Okay, going back to this bottom here. I'm going to bring that one out. I've got another blue to come in. So I've got a block there. Take my picture. Uh, I've got green to come in here. There you go. You can see that I'm just swapping out one colour for another, but that's what I'm doing. You can do whatever you want. Take your picture. Okay, and then that's the last one at the top which we need a red for. Oh, a nice comfy chair. There we go. So you can see at the top there, I've got 11 pictures counted in. Um, and when you're happy with the amount of pictures that you can take, and you can edit these, um, you just kind of press your back button on your phone and then you can see all your frames. So you can scroll along down the bottom here and you can see them all changing, okay? And you can also press play and you can see them all swapping in and out there. Now it will automatically go back to the front uh, and uh, and start again. That's really good because that's exactly how GIFs work. OK, uh, I'm just going to press pause there. If you like what you've got, OK, you can just press the little uh, settings button here. You can speed up, you can slow it down. So this is looking at frames per second. We have 11 images. If I keep it at six, we've effectively got just under two seconds worth of animation. Uh, if you want to slow it down, you use fewer numbers. And if you want to speed it up, you can put higher numbers. Now, I want to keep it to two seconds. I think that's a really good time. Uh, six frames a second for a GIF is a really good amount. Uh, and I am going to change things. So um, this might extend it. So I'm just going to go done. Okay, so let's see the speed of that. 
yeah, you see it goes really, really quickly. So two seconds is not a lot of time to go through 11 pitches. Now, because a GIF loops, okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right back to the start. We're gonna press the first frame and we're gonna go select. And then once you've got select selected, you just scroll along to your last frame. Not the camera, because that means you're gonna take another picture, but the last frame, press the button again and copy, okay? Then you're going to go along to your camera and press paste. Now what this has done is pasted all those lovely pictures that you've already started off with. So you've got a bit of a kind of repeat. Okay, but we don't want it to repeat in the same way because that's what the GIF is going to do for us. It's going to start the animation again every time it's played. Okay, so we're going to select again. We're going to go to the first one, select, go all the way to the last one, and we're going to reverse. Now watch what that's done, okay? If we get right back to the beginning, that means our animation is going to go back on itself, okay? And that's creating an animated loop, okay? So when you start, if you uh, end your animation with the same frame as you start, you create an animation loop or an animation cycle, and that's what we want, because we want that kind of seamless uh, start finish going all the way through our GIF, okay? So the other thing I just want to point out to you, that if you go right to the end, zoomed in a bit there you can double tap to do that um, you can see that my last frame and my first frame are exactly the same so what that means is that when your animation loops there'll be a little bit of a pause um, which you may not want and I'm not wanting it with this as well so I'm just going to tap that and I'm going to cut it or you can delete it okay so that means that when we press play now it goes forward it goes back and it starts again. So there's that seamless loop there. That is, that's what we really, really, really want. So I'm happy with that now. That is a quick, simple animation. And we're gonna get that out of uh, Stop Motion Studio and put it into a GIF. So I'm gonna pause that. Okay, I'm gonna go back because it automatically saves that moving. You can see there, and I've got one from earlier. Okay, so I'm going to hold down to select. And then I'm gonna share. So you can see at the top right left there, there's the share icon, you, whatever device you're using to share, you'll have that share icon. Press that share icon and you can see lots of different options. Now for this, we're gonna do an animated GIF. Okay, so we'll press animated GIF. We'll save that as, okay, and Stop Motion Studio will prep that. And the reason, again, we're doing an animation animated GIF is because it's really quick and easy to export. Okay, I'm just gonna change my name here to colors.gif, okay, make sure you've got that .gif in there, done. And that's saved to my phone. Now, that's a really quick kind of 20 odd second animation. It's done as a GIF, it should play over about four seconds for you. Uh, and if you're on social media, you can go on and you can see it automatically loops, okay. GIFs work really, really, really well on websites and on the internet, and it will automatically loop um, and you can see that working really, really well. So please give that a try. Please share what you make on Twitter at Derby Quad with the hashtag uh, Quad Creates. And it'll be really, really fun to see what you've come up with. And I've got another stop motion studio animation exercise coming in a couple of weeks. So do look out for that as well. So again, I hope you're safe. I hope you're having fun and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Thank you very much. Bye bye.